Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories. A place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! <sighs> Eli was just waking up from hibernating a very long time. Do you know what hibernating means? Yeah, it's what animals do when it's about to be winter. And then they might build a home or they might dig themselves underground but it's to protect themselves from the very cold winter. You see a lot of reptiles and a lot of other creatures, they they only like to be out and about in the spring, in the summer, and the fall when it's nice outside. Well, there are all kinds of creatures that are not built to live during the snow and the cold in the winter. So Eli, a box turtle, he's one of those creatures that needs to hibernate. So he buries himself underground and sleeps for a very long time. Can you think of another animal that might hibernate during the winter? Mm, let's see, maybe a bear. Do bears hibernate? Yes. Yes, they do. Uh, how about frogs? Do you think frogs hibernate? Yes, they do. There are all kinds of different creatures that hibernate during the winter. Well, Eli, as he was waking up, oh, so good to oh, be awake. As he woke up in Mr. Jim's backyard, he was very happy. It was a beautiful spring day. Birds were chirping. And Eli, I'm hungry. Eli started to walk around and look for something to eat. Eastern box turtles, do you know what one of their favorite things to eat? They love to eat fruit, like berries and what are some different kinds of berries that grow in the wild? Maybe blueberries or, or uh, strawberries or blackberries. Yeah, they love berries and they also love bugs. Mmm, I love a good juicy worm, said Eli. Ew! Uh, I can't believe he eats worms. Well, Eli was having a great day eating and filling up his belly after a long, long hibernation sleep. And then all of a sudden, another creature that lives in Mr. Jim's backyard flew overhead. <coughs> Is that the hawk? said Eli. Oh no, I gotta hide. You see, there's a hawk that lives in our backyard who, he kind of runs the backyard. He's, he is the top of the food chain back here. And Eli knows that. And it's time for him to hide. Do you know how box turtles hide? They are built to be amazing at hide and seek. You see, when you hide, are you able to turn yourself into a rock? Or turn yourself into a tree? Or... Uh, no, no, no. We have to hide, like, behind something, right? Yeah, we don't have anything built into our bodies that we can hide in. But Eli does. Box turtles, they have an amazing shell. A shell not like most other turtles. You see, most of the turtles, they have a cool shell that protects their body, and they can kind of pull their head and their arms in a little bit. But Eli... Box turtles have an amazing shell that has a hinge, like a door. You know what a hinge is? A hinge is what our doors are connected to the wall with. So what the thing that makes the door in your bedroom close and open is the hinge that connects it. Yeah, there might be two or maybe three of those hinges. Have you seen those things move before? Yeah, well, Eli... He has hinges built into the bottom of his box turtle shell. And so he can close up everything so that he's completely secure and safe. 
it's a pretty cool trick because Eli is actually, he's not very fast. So he cannot outrun that big hawk, but he can completely protect himself. So as he was hearing the hawk flying overhead, he had to hide. But, oh no, my shell's not closing. What's wrong? Uh-oh. Something was going on with his hinge. The hinge is on the bottom of the turtle's shell, and it's it's meant to, to close up the bottom to protect his head and his legs. And, oh no. If the hinge is stuck, that means he's completely exposed. And that is very dangerous. Oh no! shouted Eli. Something must have happened while I was hibernating. Oh, some mud or something got stuck in my hinge. I can't close it. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Eli was very nervous and afraid. Have you ever felt afraid before like Eli? Yeah, me too. Well, I've never been a box turtle before and I've never tried to <laughs> close my shell, but... I can think of a lot of reasons of why I might get scared. And Eli was very afraid. So, oh, I have to calm down. Eli started to slow down his breathing. One, one two, a three. And he counted to three, which that always helped him feel less afraid. All right, I got to get some help. Eli started to look around because he was not built in a way that could fix his hinge by himself. He needed somebody with hands or tools or something to fix this hinge. What in the world is an animal going to do to fix something broken like that? You know, if our car is broken, we go to, yeah, a mechanic, a car repair shop. Yeah, they know how to fix our cars, but where do box turtles go? I don't know. I don't think there's a turtle repair shop anywhere near me. Eli's going to have to figure this one out. As he started walking around through the tall grass, he was looking for anything that he could rub against his hinge, and there was nothing. And all of a sudden, in the distance, he heard a splashing sound. Ah! Oh boy, that was so fun! I'm going to do it again! <gasps> he remembered. That was Ollie the Otter. The river otter that lived in Mr. Jim's backyard. Oh boy, maybe Ollie can help me. As Eli raced over, ah, ah. it was the hawk again. He was getting closer. Eli was running out of time. He had to race as fast as he could. Oh no, is Eli the box turtle going to make it to the river in time to ask Ollie for help? I hope Ollie the Otter is able to help him. And we'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories to see if Eli the Box Turtle is going to be saved in time. The end. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Brrr, Happy birthday, Eddie, who's turning six years old. Eddie loves monarch butterflies, making art, and being a big brother. Wow, Eddie, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy sixth birthday. Well, all my Critter Protector friends, I hope you have a super duper day. And I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye!